an inpatient physical therapist at Lexington Medical Center. Um, I work with patients in the hospital. Uh, they may have elective surgeries or traumatic injuries, and I work on mobilizing patients and helping restore function uh, so they can discharge from the hospital. Physical therapy is associated with COVID patients in that um, all patients need therapy, um, whether or not you have COVID or you don't. Um, so we just need to keep treating patients regardless of what diagnosis they have. You know, initially with COVID, we were putting on masks and I, my coworkers felt, would ask if we would ever have to wear shields and mask day to day. Uh, initially, the thought was that there's no way we'd ever have to wear shields every day. Uh, now it's just the norm, uh, which is an odd thing to think of. You know, in the past, to see someone with a mask seemed ridiculous, and now it's just ridiculous not to wear a mask. It was tricky uh, deciding who would see these patients. Uh, you know, initially, you know, being the single guy with no kids, I was the default person to see these patients. Uh, but I kind of declined initially. But eventually, as the COVID uh, numbers went up, uh, someone else had to volunteer to go into the COVID units. Uh, so eventually, I had to kind of go up to bat and just volunteer to see those patients as well. I have an 81-year-old father. Uh, you know, he's elderly, so that's always risky to be near him. Uh, I have a sister with lupus, uh, and I have two nieces. They're 9 and 13, so those are the riskiest people for me to be around if I happen to get tested positive for COVID. You know, I hadn't seen my nieces in a, in a while initially. It took uh, my sister about two, three months before she would let me come over. Initially, work was constantly in my mind. Um, you know, definitely the fear of, of, you know, contact with patients and worrying about, you know, bringing home the virus accidentally to friends or family or even bringing it home, you know, uh, definitely made it a little hard to de-stress. Um, but you find ways to de-stress. I think uh, COVID puts a strain on everyone in healthcare. Um, you know, you know, you wouldn't think of physical therapists as being a frontline worker, but we are. Uh, and our healthcare workers are are tired. You know, we wear a mask all day long. We're fatigued. Mentally, we're exhausted. Uh, we're trying our best to stay safe and and treat patients and the general public. So it's, I think everyone just needs to be safe and and do their best to do their part.